hundred years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that... Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final rest. Conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion testing of that field. That or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We were met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives to that battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But, in the large sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men who Living and dead, we sometimes struggle to carry and consecrate it far above our poor power to add a new chapter. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be here dedicated. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have consecrated it far above our poor power to add a new chapter. The world will little note. No longer remember what we say here, but I can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work for which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be dedicated here to the great task remaining before us, before us. That, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not die in vain. That this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. And a government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.